Hello, hello, this is Unknown Gamer. This is my childhood Batman video games that I grew up with. First one is Batman on the, on the Nintendo. I played this game on a Rome uh, for a very long time when I was little. And I always loved this game with platforming, with the uh, gameplay of... This is just pretty cool. I was not born in the 1990s, but I do remember playing this game when I was little due to playing it on a PC Rome. Now the, the gameplay is, is actually pretty hard sometimes, like if you uh, you could die very easily like in the game that I'm going to talk about next. But this game I always loved and it's my first ever Batman game to play. And it's a great platformer too. You get battle wings, you get uh, all different kind of gadgets. Batman, Batman, this game is pretty fun. You get, I put the Rome in the description. But uh, yeah. Next game, Batman Returns. Batman Returns is just a great game and a sequel to Batman for the NES. This is Batman Returns on the NES, another game I played on a Rome. I'll put the, the link in the description for that too. This game is just a beat em up, unlike the other game, it's not really a platformer. So you just walk around beating up thugs, and that's kind of all you do. There's other different levels that I don't want to spoil. But the game is very fun. You um, just walk around and punch people. This is another game for my memories that I grew up with. Now I, I can't list every Batman game that I grew up in, in here or the video will be too long. But this game, uh, like there's a great variety of uh, enemies. Uh, I think you get a better one, I can't remember. But it's mostly just focused on combat and punching and kicking and dodging attacks. Uh, uh, I'd say for this one, I'd give this a uh, 3 out of 5 because it gets boring after a while. I have to admit, the beat em up. It's a standard beat em up. Now for Batman Forever on the PlayStation 1. One of my fa favorite arcade games, and now it's on the PlayStation And then they came to the PlayStation 1. It's another beat em up that gets boring after a while, but if you. But I like the graphics and stuff, it keeps you entertained. And it's based off of not the best movie, but there's boss battles with Two Face and the Wood War. A lot of fun, like the moves you can do are pretty cool. You can grab, you can kick, you can punch, you can grapple people. And the environments are pretty cool too. I think I'm pretty sure you can interact with them. But you, like, the more thugs you get, the more health and power you get. See, like that, you get to do the special modes. Now, for one of the worst games that a lot of people talk about, Batman and Robin. Now, I don't understand the... I can understand the hate, but this game was the first free-roaming Batman game. First open-world Batman game ever made. And the game was actually pretty fun for me. Like, I always enjoyed Spawn, uh, Spawn Gotham City in the Batmobile. And it's a great detective part of the game, too. This game has too much potential, but the, ca the camera and the combat sucks. But everything besides that, you get to play as Robin, Batgirl, Batman. It's the first open world Batman game. Kind of like how Arkham, Arkham Asylum, Arkham City, and Arkham Knight are free roaming games. And Arkham Origins, too. We'll talk about them later. But this game was always fun for me. I, it's hard. Don't get me wrong, it's hard. But this game is pretty amazing. It's kinda. Kinda amazing. I don't want to go too far. <laughs> but I may get a lot of hate because of this, but I really enjoyed this game. It's fun. You could spore. You could be Batman Robin. Batgirl. The combat is hard to do. The camera sucks. So I would, oh, I would give this game a 4 out of 5. And that people are definitely going to disagree with me. But this was a big childhood gem for me. 
I always love playing this game on the PlayStation 1. PlayStation 1 and Nintendo were my first game systems. Even though I mostly play Nintendo games on the ROMs, on ROMs, on the PC. But th this game is just pretty good. Like, the, the co like I like how you can counter attacks too, like you can block. And I can see that Gotham got a big inspiration. Next! Batman Rises of Shinju, I believe his name is. This game I don't want to talk about much, that much because it's the last game that my grandfather got for me before he died. So this game I, I just love because so many memories and I think about my grandfather when I play this game. So uh, this game is another beat em up but this game doesn't really get boring that much. Like the environments are different, like the more you play the game there's different environments. The great combos, you could, like, like it's just so satisfy satisfying to beat the, beat the crap out of enemies. You free hostages. The only thing that sucks is that you get time sometimes. And the time all is what makes the game even harder. This boss battles like Bane, the Scarecrow, and all, all different kinds. Now for Batman Begins. Batman Begins. I got on a PlayStation 2, like well when it first came out. This game is based off one of my favorite Batman movies and the Batman actors. Now, the uh, the game could be quite challenging at times, but the stealth takedowns in the game, the gameplay, the combat, oh, it's just, it's very good. I always like the gameplay. Like uh, for a second, it's about to pop up on the screen. Let's see, you could punch, you could kick, on the, but I only played this on the PlayStation 2. This came out around the time as other Spider-Man games came out too. I forget which one though. And that'd be a separate video, uh, Spider-Man titled games. But this is an uh, example of the stealth. Look how cool the stealth is. Take down. <laughs> the Batmobile levels are cool too. Uh, oh, if you ever want one of those ride in, in the Batmobile, a tank Batmobile, you want to play this game. <laughs> it, it just handles well, and like, you don't crash that much. And, but you're meant to crash that much, so it's like Bone Out. The game turns into Bone Out. Okay, now for the LEGO Batman games. I have played every single LEGO Batman game. Like LEGO Batman 1, LEGO Batman 2, LEGO Batman 3. Lego, uh, Lego DC Super Bones that I didn't count because that's a, not a full Batman game. Batman. It only has Batman. But Lego Batman 2, DC Super Bones is one of my favorite Lego games. Besides, uh, Lego Marvel Super Bones 2. And Lego Star Wars series. Which will be another video too, much. But, um, games are always fun. I showed you, I'm showing you the clips from all three Batman games. I'm looking forward to, to the next Batman game, but I don't know when it'll be announced or if they're even gonna make one. I heard there's rumors of a Lego Spider-Man game coming out, but I don't know when. I, uh, I always loved the Lego games though. I grew up with them, I beat Lego, Lego Batman 2 with my cousin. We, we played all day. But now for Batman Arkham games. The Arkham games were amazing. Now, uh, Batman Arkham was the greatest free woman games for me besides Grand Fagato and Watch Dogs. Just, just exploring while gliding your cape all over like you glide, battle thugs in the streets to save people's lives. This the game is so great. And the not for spoil spoilers, the death of Joker that affects the whole game was great and the inclusion of Red Hood was just amazing. Red Hood was a good uh, character for the game and uh, him being the Arkham Knight was just pretty cool. Everyone knows that now <laughs> due to if you played the games or if you just go on YouTube they kind of give it away all the time. But Red Hood is one of my favorite superheroes besides Wagman from AOL. But Wagman actually came out in like the 1990s, 1980s, I believe. Wagman's always been my favorite hero. What has been my second favorite hero? And my favorite villain is Scarecrow. And the second is the Joker. That's all I have to say for today. I hope you enjoyed my video. 
and tune in to, uh, tune in next week for my Shadow Games Halo Edition. Alright, bye.